why MLC Stealth is one of my favorite players in the entire world. I think he's the most dominant mid laner. You gotta talk about MLC Stealth. This guy had this one guy. heck of a show yesterday. All things told, Scylla, uh, MLC Stealth really the only player that favors her in the world, and he makes her look like everyone should be picking her. Ah! See you later, son! Down he goes! But MLC Stealth brings the fury! And this is the difference between a good Scylla and a great Scylla. He was basically a human highlight reel. MLC Stealth just carrying Cognitive Prime to victory! I will see Stealth as a monster. Welcome to the Cobb Energy Center in Atlanta, Georgia, as the 2015 Smite World Championship gets underway with the first day of competition. The teams have been in town practicing and preparing all week, but now they are in the building getting all warmed up for the spotlight on the main stage. One team we definitely got a highlight here. Really excited to talk about them. Cognitive Prime. So this is a, in the crowd, you already hear them going nuts oh, for man. Cog Prime. Fan favorites here without a doubt. Dryber, uh, you know, I guess, what are your thoughts in regards to the squad as well? You know, these are the ancients. The, the, you the make it sound so old. Camp. They're amazing. They're honestly, they're not only are they good guys, but they're amazing rivals, amazing players to go against, and every week, Going against them, I learned something new. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they won it all. You've still got to deal with Carly, but look, talking about Carly, coming to the mid lane now, the first gank of the game coming up from Neymar, found onto Stealth. But it's an early level five on Stealth, right? They okay. can't die this because I knew all of them. Oh, the turnaround and damage with the oh, stun, the, the roof. roof, the passive kicks in. Fog brings him down. This is why MLC Stealth is one of my favorite players in the entire world. I think he is. I think he's the most dominant mid laner for Titan, starting to take the damage. Cognitive looking for the win here. Cognitive Prime will take. 404, name not found down in a very decisive game. 18 minutes, 50 seconds, 28 kills to one. So we also have to highlight individual performances. Yesterday, you got to talk about MLC Stealth. This guy had this one guy. heck of a show yesterday. I believe he was also, uh, you know, our player of the game uh, for right. his matchup, his gamer launch player of the game. So this guy, uh, absolutely talented player. All right, guys, we are now in the last game of the day. Are you guys ready? I am so excited for this one, guys. We're going to have Cog Prime facing off against Titan. It's going to be one heck of a battle. Holly into Geb, because you know you're going to have that, that beauty. We, we saw it earlier today. The Aphrodite pick really helps. Is that the B? And that's going to be Amuz and Cobb and Scylla locked in. We're going to see how all this pans out as we toss it over to our casters. Folks in the crowd, get loud. Cog Prime versus Titan. You know you want it, baby. And go ahead, take it away, casters. Kanye could be in some trouble here. Cataclysm going to find two. Athena coming down and he's trying to roll away. He accidentally slows her. Repikos around the corner doing some damage to Andy. Oh, Huge nice. shot from the back. But there's the monster. We haven't even touched on this yet. Scylla, a very, very undervalued god currently in Smite. One of the stronger mid lane mages, one of the best burst mages in the game. As you saw there, her ultimate. This got able to really take over team fights. All things told, Scylla, uh, MLC Stealth, really the only player that favors her in the world. And he makes her look like everyone should be picking her. Pretty prime in a lot of trouble. And down he goes. I'm a monster. Well, here comes Jeff. He finds a two-man taunt. Scylla gets it as well. Thor taking it to the sky. Who's the target? It's got to be Repercop. Wham! Slam! And it sir comes in. And he dunks it home. Does MLC stuff. They have another one coming out as well. Pretty prime in a lot of trouble. Got See you later, son. Down he goes. Anorexia. He wants some as well. Will dodge the last time a monster. But MLC stealth brings the fury. It's all about stealth for me right now. But here comes the pressure. Jeff Hinlet in the back line. Comfrey has all already used his ultimate. There's no getting out of that one. First person's going to go down, and that's going to be a big swing here for Repi. Oh, yikes. MLC Stealth continues to charge forward. As we can fall back at the three-man stun from Andy. MLC Stealth is here as well. Bang. Over the top. Down goes Comfrey. It's just doing so much damage as the Yama Monster. One. He's looking for Anoraxia. Can he make it? Oh, he's going to hit just Kanye Light, but that's half of the HP of the tank. And now it's the Phoenix and the Titan exposed. They take the final Phoenix. They push it towards the Titan. Cognitive Prime wants to make it a North America contender from the round of four. Here they go in. They're going to dive the well. There's nothing left for Titan. It's Cognitive Gaming game. DM Brandon Cop Prime is going to knock out Titan. Unbelievable performance across the board for Cognitive Prime. They take down the number one contender out of Europe, your champions of Europe in the form of Titan. And well, they did it in uh, the most Cognitive Prime fashion I've seen in a long time. Big time Scylla and big time Scylla play. I mean, that's something that they used to you know, butter their bread with back a year ago. What a matchup there. Cognitive Prime coming out huge. 
And 17-4 in the kill count too, man. They oh, man. just look so freaking dominant. This ultimate is absolutely phenomenal. You can see it happened at four and a half minutes in the game, level seven on MLC Stealth. But watch this ultimate. He gets it and boom. Zip, your thoughts. You could say MLC is a monster. Boom. Uh, 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 I think it's I think, <laughs> I think it's MVP of this game. Uh, they play really, really good. Since we're talking about Scylla and MLC Stealth, I mean, he is the gamer launch player of the game, so let's bring his stats up on screen and see what he did in the last match. I mean, he was on Killing Spree after Killing Spree, yep. using that ultimate 11.0 kill death Goodness assist gracious. ratio. Just for you, Brett, multi-kill two and killing spree eight. I mean, he was all over the map. And th this is the difference between a good still and a great still is the ability to be patient while you have that ultimate active. You saw him time and time again, activate a monster and he's up sitting on his snakes and his dogs and waiting. And he waits for the perfect moment, hits it, and then gets another ultimate because of it. He was basically a human highlight reel. I, I would have to say, uh, you know, speaking of human highlight reel, he is in yet another clip because, you know, basically, again, you just got to continue to give this dude love. He was on fire. The Alienware play of the game goes to MLC Stealth with this play. thick double kill that he got, that I'm a monster just coming out and, and just really showing why this guy, why this god is so good. Uh, 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 wait for it to hit this one, and then as he runs around, watch that lock. He's waiting, he's waiting, blocked by the Thor wall, and then dunk. Oh, I mean, goodness. he's so patient, and that's what you need to do. We see a lot of people, they just pop the ultimate, they dunk right away, and they're hoping it works, right? MLC is not hoping he works. He knows it's going to work. Now, it is time for our last matchup of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Cog Prime versus Cog Red. Let's get this one going. Oh, it's the MLC Scylla. Do we see in? AMC? Do we see Apollo? So there it locked. is. Last nice. pick here for Cog Prime. Oh, Prime. this is hype. It's going to be a great matchup. Make some noise as we jump right into this one. Toss it over to the casters. Take it away, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number one. It's Cognitive Gaming versus Cognitive Red in a best of three matchup to decide who proceeds to the finals. Collapse, Brandon. And he threw out the rollout, so he's not going to have an escape. Beautiful shot from Barracuda. We're going to try to see him aggress here. The Gev Shield's doing work, Boot. taking him back in the Boot. right direction. Boot has the angle. There's going to be a Kraken. It's going to be big. Here it comes. Down goes Thor. And he's gonna stun out the boost. Boost gonna be back and go. And Edison has the Aegis. He's gonna be just fine. Boost. Oh, there's a bonus. 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 MLC Stealth with a late rotation blows up the Miss Kraken and a big opportunity for Cognitive Gaming. Bandinster has fallen back. Stealth and Jeff Hinla both full on retreat, but Bouge is fast. It's a Poseidon, but it's a brilliant route oh. from MLC Stealth. Here uh -oh. comes the Miss. Oh, oh, oh and MLC Stealth doesn't have one thing. No, this is his second I'm a monster, and now he's in a lot of trouble. Divya is charging forward, finds a kill. Wow, the procs are just so real. What this does, every time you see the ice spike shoot out of Barracuda, oh my it God, means wow. that he's been slowed attack speed and movement speed. They will be able to eventually secure the kill on the Divya. Six hundred magical power on the Scylla with the Rod of Tahuti completion. Yep. She is officially out of control and is the hardest hitting god in this game by a pretty big margin. Boosh is out of this fight. Very, very low on HP. Omega gets picked up and Andy gets his back stopped by Snoopy. A little bit of a lazy back there by Andy. Will he be able to secure this kill? There's so down. His way out. And down goes Andy down. as well. MLC South's going to fall to a MLC is down. Can they fire this one on and the Jeff Jeff is most He's going to fall. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a DS side in the 38 minute mark. They're going to go for They're a win. Cognitive Red is your victory in game number one. Absolutely. An amazing game. And congratulations to Cognitive Red. They pull ahead a game and put the screws to Cognitive Prime. What will the sister team do? This is the matchup that we've been waiting for. This is hot fire right now. And it was neck and neck the entire time. These teams are so evenly matched. Scylla <laughs> is generally not picked. Uh, I think maybe because they didn't want to hit the miss kind of thing with Scylla. But I mean, MLC is, is a great Scylla player. Yeah, yeah I'm really not sure because Scylla is not really just not picked in you at all, so I don't really know where to place her. Yeah. But I mean, he's a great Scylla player, there's no doubt about that. We're going into game two. With a gap there, I'm not sure if that's enough. This could be Yannick. Look, ooh, there's a Scylla ban against MLC Scylla Stealth. Scylla caused a lot of problems in that last that's game. That's right. I don't see that happening. Garth diving deep. Oh, maybe it will. Uh, oh, he's dead. Wow, the damage coming to that knock. Unbelievable. Cognitive Prime comes moving forward. They want the victory here. MLC still picks up Ionic. The Titan falls. Cognitive Prime forces game number three. And I don't think my heart can take any more of those plays. It's great that you mentioned Nox. I have this up on my screen right now. He has uh, top damage in the game. Shout out to MLC Stealth. 40,000 player damage in that match. Absolutely phenomenal. This brings us directly into the Alienware play of the game. MLC Stealth coming out hot with a double kill. 
look at this rotation. Retribution Shield active, and he's still staying. I'm using that shield just in case the little bit of movement speed out of it. The burst is phenomenal. And then you see looking for Divius, looking to dodge, but you, he hits every single ability. I think the power of Nox is that three-second cooldown oh, yeah. on that third ability. You can't run away from the night. Absolutely. And it just shows how good MLC stealth is to be able to flexibly pick these gods and high pressure situations and he performed early mid and late game and he was the sole reason why a lot of kills were confirmed We're talking about 1.3 million dollars for, first, for place. first place ladies and gentlemen it's time for game number three picks and bands now as we have cog red cog prime ce onic that's a respect ban through and through they get rid of the athena now nox just got shot out another respect ban Back to MLC Stealth. Makes sense. There's a lot in the pocket, including little baby Scylla that can be picked up for Seth Milk Stealth yeah. himself. And, and there it is! Scylla. There is Scylla. We saw the devastation that Scylla brought to the table in that last match. I mean, game one. This <laughs> is it. Scream as loud as you can. Game three, ladies and gentlemen. Cog Red, Cog Prime about to go down. Let's take it over to Brandon and Bart. Fellas, drive us through the action and it's for a chance to face off against Titan and play for your share of the $1.3 million first pace prize out of the $2.6 million pool. Uh, it looks like both teams got exactly what they want here out of this game, and Why we are going to have a full just drag out slobber knocker on our hands here. This one is going to be a bloodbath, ladies and gentlemen. Andy moving forward. He's looking for the pull from Cobra's kiss, and he gets it. He's going to grab guards here, and they know. Oh, oh, no. Just Rip. a beautiful ultimate there. And MLC Stealth getting credit for that kill. So does Cognitive Prime. They're going to look for Booch now. Uh, Booch not in a bad spot here, honestly. Can rewind very. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. No rewind for you, and as here comes charging forward. Bionic, it's gonna be basically impossible for him to seal it. Take the force to reset. Yeah, he should have let this one go. Three man Kata taking a lot of damage from Desert Fury. And oh, Sir Cat finds Bionic. Yeah. Bionic could be in trouble. trouble. Are they gonna use Ultimate? They will indeed. Thor comes crashing down as well. Bionic, he's gonna fall. He's gonna pop onto Gars. Gars has the poison applied to him. Gars is gonna fall as well. Second pop and trying to make his way out with Andy, but Divius is here. He misses the Fearless Shame. Oh, Gars could be in some trouble here. Underneath the tower, Anderson comes charging forward. Sir Cat is there, and yes. Boom goes the dynamite. My guard, Gars is dead, and now searching forward is Cognitive Prime. No problem, Stealth's actually trying to burn down Devios. He's trying to buy some time. I'm a monster, that's gonna be one. Look, eyes to boost here. That's Whoa! gonna be two. Not gonna find the third one. Jeff the sex him, like keeping the dream alive with the roots. He's still alive. Triple kill for MLC. MLC Cell coming through with that Ric Flair, giving him the woo, where he brings that I'm a monster, <laughs> taking down three in that fight, and they have finally shown what this goddess is capable of. MLC Stealth, my bet for the strongest player in the tournament. Mid lane, Stealth, he's gonna get double stun here, diminishing returns out of that Thor, though, he's gonna beat it anyway. Thor's gonna take a lot of damage. I'm a monster, he's not gonna be in a great position. He's gonna try to get some chip damage here on the Yana Craps, and will hey. do so. Half of his HP pool gone. Garage oh. in a lot of troubles, Barracuda's rotation is good. Death is serious here as well. Boot is taking a lot for his trouble, but they're not gonna be able to clean it up. In in the meantime, rotating for the right side lane. Here's Omegatron. He finds the Yonic. Divio gets in trouble as well. And Barra. the continues to do the damage. Barra could go down here. Then oh, they find Barra. No. no. He's out of here. Boost. Oh, no. Boost. Don't Boost. Turn it away. Boost goes down. Poison is switched over to Divio. He goes down. On the left side, Divio's in a bit of trouble as the tree is there. They start to put the damage out onto him. Will they use the Wrath of Terror? They will use the Circuit Ultimate to start bringing him down. No healing for you, Divios. And yes, Divios is going to fall. He takes a spill. Two. Left side, Barracuda. They're hunting him with three, but they've invested way too much here for just one Hunter. Pouring it now into the war, but it's going to get canceled. Barracuda falls. In the meantime, at the Tier 2, Kronos is in trouble. <laughs> I'm a monster. Finds yet another kill. MLC Stealth just carrying Cognitive Prime to victory. But Cognitive Prime has definitely turned the screws, and Red is staring defeat in the face. The gold oh, Snoopy is in so much trouble. Yeah, he's going to get out of here, at least at the moment. But Sikkim is there. Boulder coming through, but off the mark. I'm a monster. Oh, MLC Stealth just shuts him down. Go to bed, Sonny. It's your time, says MLC Stealth as he moves forward. But the Rapid Terra, the here comes explode. the Hercules. The ult explodes. Down he goes. No more healing for you. They're going to try to go for it. Ionic needs to try to get his boy out of there. Divio somehow kills Barracuda. He was so far down, but still MLC Stealth finds a kill. Gar is taking just a lot of damage from Barracuda. He's just overstayed his welcome. Down he goes to Desert Fury. Divio's going to try to follow him up. Oh, but the oopie doke from Barracuda leaves Divio's on an island. Did Omega just throw a boulder at Jeff Hinla? I'm not sure. I think Omega just threw a boulder at Jeff Hinla. I'm a monster! MLC Stealth again finds one. Ruby's erased. This game is over. They can't hold without their Hunter. He's all of their damage. Bouncing around is the boulder. Down goes Gars. That's two. Divio in some trouble as well. The pull on the mark. But the Phoenix is going to fall. Guys, they're set. Guys, gentlemen, you're ready to prime. Tomorrow, Cognitive could effectively be.
collective millionaires to stand on their feet, wiping their brows, knowing they've earned it. They will go on to fight the challengers tight. I mean, the whole time I'm sitting here and I have said since day one that MLC Stealth is going to be the strongest player in this tournament, and he has showed up to play. Cognitive Prime will be representing North America, Titan from Europe. That's going to do it for us from the commentary desk for day number two. We'll be back with the finals day tomorrow on Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, over to Golden Boy and Dry Bear. The Scylla, I mean, Allied. Let's talk about this. This was crazy. MLC Stealth is a monster. Yeah. You Here comes the just gamer launch player of the game. Who do you think it is? Oh, MLC so Stealth. surprising. MLC Stealth. Yeah. He, he played lights out. Absolutely. Just the setups and his decision making and his patience really like shows. And I believe he's the only mid laner in the world that can even do this with this character. Most other mid laners don't even have Skilla in their god pool. He's literally, I think, the only one at a high competitive level. So that's what is so special about MLC Stealth. He has the patience. He waits for the good setups. I don't think he missed a skill all, like, all game. Or if he did, it was already because he killed two more people with it. So I just... I, that was all him. Let's go ahead and bring it back to the Alienware play of the game with that triple kill. No more needed to take it out. Uh, and there goes the hit. One ultimate. Let's count it out, everyone. Here comes number two. Here comes number three. Nope. Not nope. going <laughs> to But despite that, though, still the crush. the triple kill. The crush, man. We only got the two. The story of Cog Prime, they looked incredible. They were constantly kicking butt. And uh, it showed in the finals when they were able to come, or I should say in the match before the finals, but a matchup that could have been the finals, honestly, with how good it was. That was just uh, one of the finest displays of just competitive gaming I'd seen in my career. And it was an absolute joy to watch back here. Uh, so we have two, like you said, amazing rematches that are right. going to take place today. So I want to talk a little bit about MLC Stealth. I mean, we were talking about Scylla earlier. Fantastic play. Uh, to you, Zimstar, what makes this guy so dominant? The thing is, he picks, you know, Scylla and those kind of guards that you wouldn't really expect to be up against. I, I think they just need to get rid of Scylla because I don't think Prime plays it. So maybe just take it away or, or ban it because yesterday he went like 12-0 or some crazy thing like that. It was unbelievable. This that is guy my, is a this, beast. Let's look at what's been happening so far and where we are in the tournament. The upper bracket and the whole entire placement stage is done. The knockout stage is also done. You have your two grand final placement teams, Titan and Cognitive Prime. Welcome, Smite fans, to the Smite World Championship Grand Finals! These teams have been on an incredibly difficult journey, and it's all ending now. In just a few moments, the two best Smite teams in the world will be competing for the first place prize of $1.3 million. And now, your second team, the hometown favorites and the most tenured team in the SWC. Guys, give it up for Cognitive Prime! Our biggest challenge is losing to ourselves. I think if we play at 100%, we are the best players in our roles. The only thing that can stop us from winning is ourselves making stupid mistakes. My name is Brett Feli, my in-game name is MLC Stealth, and I'm the middle lane for Cognitive Prime. If you're just joining us for the first time and you're curious about Smite Esports, well, no better place to start than right here at the Smite World Championships, because you're gonna see some of the best Smite play well, that, I mean, you might just see some of the best video game play, period, from these guys. I am so excited for this matchup. Good this up. is it. Oof. Give it up We're for these boys. Tyson just give away either Soket or Thor. Oh. Whoa. Things aren't looking too good. Eyes on Pretty Prime doing some damage to the back line. Kanye Life tanking it up, and it looks like first 30%, game. 20%, going to North America. The Chaos Titan falling in favor of Cognitive Prime. They take a one to nothing advantage here in this best of five series to determine the best team in the world for Smite. And ladies and gentlemen, we had a uh, pretty amazing game there. Uh, MLC Stealth played absolutely lights out. And honestly, I think the common theme here is MLC Stealth's decision-making, rotation, and mid-play 
is by far, I think he's the best mid laner in the world. There's no one else that can compare up to him. He's been a powerhouse all tournament long, especially with his skill of play, which is uh, a good first ban, honestly, by Titan. I expect to see more skill of ban. The targets should be on MLC Stealth, 100%. You can't just take ban everything from him. Just take everything away. All right, we're going to wait for the first picks to come through here. Of course, ban comes through for Titan, and that will be Scylla. Scylla has been removed. Wow, that's a really early creeping curse, and he's going to take way too much damage. Kanye life. Cognitive Prime flexing their muscles and holding both of the mid camps. Oh, Reppy in a lot of damage. That could be a kill. That could oh! be a kill. And we've been talking up MLC Stealth quite a bit in this tournament, uh, considering him potentially the best player in my eyes, definitely the best player playing today. And all things told, you've just fed that player two kills in the first three minutes of the game. Two times in a row, they have banned MLC Stealth's best god. And now two times in a row, he is showing that he doesn't even need her. Uh, pretty Prime in some trouble here. Jeff Hillen moves forward. There's a Nox ultimate and he blows himself up. Does Pretty Prime. MLC Stealth with all three kills in this game. You know what MLC stands for? <laughs> Go for it. Mid lane carry. Okay. MLC Stealth comes charging forward. They're going to look for a kill oh. on a pretty prime. They should be able to find it with the sun coming out of one more Siphon Darkness. There it is. Perfect placement from MLC Stealth. Secures that kill around the wall. They trade one for one. Kanye Life is going to take a spill to MLC Stealth. Not enough magic protection online for that Hercules. He's just going down the Nox repeatedly. And now MLC sitting at 5-0 and 2. Top net worth in the game. He finds Con Free and stuns him out. The tether's going to come out from the Osiris, but they're going to try to burn oh, him down before free. it procs. MLC Stealth with the credit for that one, but it doesn't matter. They secure it nonetheless. MLC Stealth seems unstoppable right now. Surging forward is Cognitive Gaming. The Barracuda is coming out. The they're Fire up. Giant's ready to fall. Game Titan getting two. very, very low. Game number two is going to go in favor of Cognitive Prime. They have turned point going into game number three versus Titan. And MLC Stealth is a monster. He just outright outplayed everybody, went 4-0, and and, oh, and it just shows. They, I think they are just the better team, folks. Player of the game, this game, I would give it to MLC. Last game to Anister. I mean, these two guys are just working that mid lane like magic, you know? I mean, the synergy they have is insane. To just make sure MLC get rolling and he will carry. And then they, can, they can actually rely on him to carry the game. A lot of players, there are players that get fed but they don't carry the game. You know, there are these kind of players and you just need to be know that if I'm gonna give you a kill, at least carry the game for me later on. That's Very what true. MLC can Very do. True. He guessed right. The player of the game is MLC Stealth yet again. Uh, gamer launch, player of the game, folks, playing that mid role. The question now goes into this next matchup. How do you combat MLC Stealth? Can you mm. stop this young man? Or it just, is he on the path to helping his team win $1.3 million. Cognitive Prime up 2-0 against Titan. Titan's going to get rid of it's gonna be a Scylla, play. I'm pretty sure, right? Away from MLC. It's going to be Scylla. Easy. I it think they be. can... Well, oh, there's the Scylla pick. There it is. There's the Scylla pickup. That's going to be dangerous territory for Titan. Let's see if this is the case. Yes, it is. Scylla is picked up by Cock Prime. Ladies and gentlemen, game number three, of course. Wasn't able to peel for his team, but he didn't. Oh, Remicon's in the mid lane. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, oh he's a monster. Oh, they don't see so. And down goes Remicon for the first blood. For those of you a little bit confused, that I'm a monster move is not auto lock. It's not a guaranteed hit. MLC Stealth is actually just that good. Is MLC a monster? He's looking for it. He's kind of wasting it, but he finds one. Down goes Barracuda. Down goes Omega Trying to pretty prime. Omega goes down as well. Ataraxi up in the sky. Jeff Hinlaw going to be the last shot up in the target. Boom! No, he's just shooting the Titan. It's only Anisir alive. Titan pushing into the Nothing base. 60%, 30%, 20%. Down oh! goes the Titan. We're going to game four. Europe not dead yet. Let's bring it back to the Logitech first blood of that last right. game. ML Scylla here right in the mid lane looking for some damage output. Uh, good rotation. And Red Picos, you know, he just made a majorly fatal mistake. But here comes the dunk. MLC Knox on the table here. Now they're going to be able to move into the tier two. Another 1,500 gold extending their lead deep into 13. It's and a three-man taunt. It's a three-man oh, taunt. No. Trevor Gunn's explosive answer. MLC Stealth chained out. He's forced back underneath his Phoenix. They're building a lot of trouble. Another taunt coming out. Will they have enough damage? They will indeed. His Confrey gets credit for that one. Surging forward now is Titan. They're going to force a game five out of Cognitive. Yes, they will. Europe, Titan five. We're going all the way, baby. Order Titan's going to fall. This is possibly the biggest moment in Smite Esports by a long shot. We're going to game five 
for $1.3 million. And it all comes down to one game. There's no sweep. There's no 3-1. There's no, there's no more questions being asked. It will come down to who truly is Jesus. the best Smite team in the world. Right here, right now in Atlanta, Georgia. That's what it's all about here, folks. I am so excited for this matchup. Words can't convey it, but we have to use our words to do our job. Picks and fans will be coming up in just a second. And the knockout stage with just Apollo. That's true. And this, is, uh, this could be a, so uh, he's going to go for it. He gets his Scylla. That's going to lock that in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the finals. It's game number five. This will be the last time you see us here at the analyst desk. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Cognitive versus Titan. Cognitive has drafted basically the five strongest gods potentially in the game in their individual roles, where Titan, once again, drafting to their strengths. On the left side, rotating in. Kanye Life and Replicants are going to meet him in the jungle. This could be your first blood. Oh, they're going for the kill. Divine Ruin, destruction going down. Divine Judgment finds it. First blood goes to Europe, but the fight's not over. Dashing in, Andy is in so much trouble. Yeah. Oh, my God. A very, very questionable leap in, but very good. I'm a monster! I'm a monster! And we'll see the one. There's a second one coming through, doing tons of damage to Titan. It's still a two-for-one trade in favor of the boys of Europe, but Cognitive, they stop the bleeding there and get a return kill of their own. Uh, and uh, just for a little bit of information here, we haven't Again, seen Jeff that is dead. Yeah, Jeff's gonna go down. Oh, down maybe not. Bomb. Third bomb, is there a dot active? Dashing Healing boys. Now. Slice and dice, wow. not enough. Reppy's dead. I'm a monster, no! It's there, but here comes the dragon! Um, nom, 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 nom. in a deep spot here, trying to find a kill, but I think he's only gonna find mortality. Oh, MLC still cleans that one up with a crush. They're rotate the solo, you mess up on duo. Can they keep Jeff Hinlet at bay? That's the name of the game. They're trying to keep him out here. He's working his way in, it's getting lower and lower and lower and Titan does find it but MLC finds a kill. No, he gets a double kill off that oh one. A triple God. kill off of that one. MLC stealth has just shut down Titan and the Gold Fury. But here we go. Adorak's in a lot of trouble as the damage comes channeling from Anister. He's gonna throw out the slow. I'm a monster activated. There goes the damage. Oh, oh MLC stealth! He shuts down Adoraxio! What a player! What a play! Waits for the damage reduction from Athena to drop off and blows up the carry. On the right side, the boulder comes wrecking through Adoraxia. Pretty prime force out of the fight. Godfrey pulled back in. MLC stealth is here with the burst. And down goes Godfrey! Repicos not finding the target here. Cognate Life gonna be taken down as well. Cognitive will turn their sights to the Fire Giant as Omega backs with three seconds remaining on Teleport. He'll be right in there very, very quickly. Fist of the Gods activated right now onto Nemesis was used in the last fight. No other hand on the table. This means for everyone watching at home, the Fire Giant will be done. The damage will be increased and Cognitive is primed to take home the World Championship. This is a team that no one thought had a chance at the finals coming into this event. Coming into the number two. Oh! Oh! Ripping through! Titan down falls three! A double cover stuff! And the five Here we go, Mother Way! Pushing down the mid lane is Gus! Looking for 1.3 million dollars! And this could be it! And they're gonna go for it! Ladies and the gentlemen! World Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, the Smite World Champions, Cog Prime. Okay, so you know what? The one thing that we have to think about, right, is uh, ML Scylla. ML Scylla, this man is a monster. Let's see what happened in the last shot, bringing it on, taking this one down. He's gonna go to the fire giant, he's gonna go after it. You're gonna see this happen, but I mean, this, I, we've talked about it. This character itself is the character that is so hit or miss. Either you win or you don't. That is the dunk of champions, ladies and gentlemen. 
ML Silla right now, right here. By the way, MVP, the one and only oh, MLC Self. I love you. you I love you, ML Silla. And I'm so glad everyone's here right now. I'm so glad. Get the microphone. Case. Yes. Because I have some. All right, man. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> how, how you doing? I you am really tired. And these world championship jerseys were like already made. That would have been really disappointing. Wait, wait, hold. Can we get a zoom in on that? <laughs> this was pre printed. Wow. That would have been really disappointing if we lost, and he just puts them in the trash can as we're walking out with a second place trophy. <laughs> that would have been awkward. Okay. MLC! 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 Lift the hammer. Hold the hammer up. Hold the tiny hammer. <laughs> Once again, man. It's so small. <laughs> it's not like the it's other It's going to be a weapon on the airplane back. So does I'm that mean that it. you had the hammer? Are you better than Anderson now? Oh, absolutely not. He got the bigger hammer. I didn't get to actually lift it up. I'm very happy. Um, Yesterday, when, when we got into the finals, my mom called me. It, she wasn't crying anymore, but she left a voicemail, and I listened back to that, and she was crying the entire time. She was like, Brett, I'm so proud of you. It was really sad and really cute, and I am just, I'm so thankful to be here, just in front of everybody. It's, it's a great experience. Thank Congratulations. You. Guys, give it up one Let's more time. give it up. All right. So, thank you so much for an incredible weekend. You know, one thing is for certain, Smite Esports has arrived. We will see you guys next time for the next Smite World Championship. Have a great, great evening.